Hello and welcome to Mintloof Academy. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can make a simple script that will allow us to check for uh, vulnerabilities in a given software product. So the script you see right here, instead of typing it manually, once you see this video, you can also head over to our webpage, winslow.com. Once you create an account here, you will be able to access, apart from our security features, the script zone, where all our scripts is ready for you to use. So you can basically select any of our scripts. You will get the code. You can change it. You can copy it. You can ask our AI questions about it to get it explained, or you can turn on video and see how it is explained similar to the video that you're watching right now. But if we get back to the script, then what this is actually doing is that it's using the uh, NIST uh, web page that is managed by the US uh, government. And then it uses, uh, it can use an API. So you can actually uh, create an API key on the web page in order for you to increase the rate limit in case you need this in a large application where you want to request more software products more regularly. But if you don't want to register and just try this out, you can just leave this API key empty and it will not include one. You will still be able to uh, query this uh, five times every half minute, which should be sufficient for just testing this out or using it for a few products here and there. What it does is then curing this uh, page based on two input parameters. So it will ask us once we uh, execute this, let's go down here. It will ask us about the software product that we want, the name of it to search for, and then the version number. This in order for it to see which vulnerabilities is attached to this particular product. It will then take that and request the API uh, that they have provided under the service uh, URL here. And then if it finds anything, it will return a JSON object that we will then work with. And that is what ha is happening in our past CVE results. So in here, it will loop through uh, the vulnerabilities that has been found. It will take the, the ID, the descriptions, the CVE, and it will also uh, include the matrix that has been added to it. And in the end, it will simply just print this out for us in the console, which is happening here in the main and it will do so with the CVI ID and the severity of the vulnerability that has been recorded and a description that we have limited to 150 characters. You can raise this if you want. You can also leave it out. It's fully up to you. You can also make it print other values that is that it is returning. It's again up to you. So let's tr try run this script and see how it works. So first off, it wants a product name. So here we have created a simple list. Let's just take Apache HTTP server. We can then put this in here. Next off, it will need a version number because there is a, a lot of vulnerabilities, more or less for any software product out there. That's just how it is to uh, develop software products. Uh, it's an iterative process and vulnerabilities will be discovered along the road and then patched. So we'll just use this version. You, of course, need to adjust it to the product that you're using and the versions that you are having installed either on your server or your uh, client machine. And then we enter this. It will then request the API. And here we found two uh, vulnerabilities. We got the uh, CVE ID. This is a... a, a ID that has been given for it to be known across web pages. So this is not only used for this particular page, but using the SVE database, everybody uh, having this ID knows exactly which vulnerability we are talking about. It's similar to, what can we say, like a person number or something in a country where you know this particular ID refers to this particular vulnerability because then people across uh, companies and countries can track the progress of it and talk in a common language about it. Also, uh, we can follow the status when it's when it's getting patched and, and such. Then we have the severity. Here it's high and critical. And then we have a small description. And that's basically uh, what this script does. It's a nice little feature if you want to make sure that uh, you are monitoring uh, possible vulnerabilities that is being discovered on the software that you have installed. It's a good thing to do regularly. Uh, of course, you also need to enable automatic updates on all your products. That's just a good security advice. But it's also nice to know when these things are being discovered because that will, from time to time, if it's a zero-day vulnerability, meaning that 
there is discovered a vulnerability, but there is yet a patch for this, then you at least at least are aware of a potential risk that you have in your uh, software landscape and can act accordingly. So I hope you liked this video and then I'll see you next time on Vinslove Academy.